Today is a day for lovebirds to dance. The love dance. Are you trying to grab a snack, Jess? Because that's quite a meal you got instead. The two of you have a whole audience cheering you right here in the kitchen. What a smashing performance. Indeed. Is this it? Have you reached rock bottom? There surely has to be something useful there to keep a craft rockin'. Take that pebble, where else would you use it anyway? Attach a small sticky magnet on the back of it. Give it a yellow paint job using a brush and acrylic paint. Be sure to leave the top unpainted though. That's the spot for the main dish. Oh wow, that looks cool. <laughs> Be sure to add some details on it using a thinner paintbrush. Sprinkle some colorful dots and we're done. It looks rocking, doesn't it? Use your imagination to add variety to your daily meal. <laughs> no, Adam, this ain't food. It's just a magnet decoration that won't be easy to smash. Just be sure to choose a proper dance floor next time. Just a few branches left to paint. Oh, it's Emily. Her date must have ended. There's no way Madison's gonna miss out on these stories. Minutes, hours, gosh, girls will always find stuff to talk about. Now, Madison Da Vinci, get back to cracking those branches. Huh? What painting? What branches? It seems your color palette has dried out of patience. You will have to change your frame of mind a bit and be prepared next time. Grab a sheet of paper towel and fold it to match the size of your plate. Now dip it into a bowl of water. Press it a bit to remove excess water and cover your plate with it. Add a small piece of baking paper for a more proper surface for your acrylic paint. Arrange the colors that you need. Next time when Emily calls, you won't have to worry about the paint getting dry, no matter how much disturbance you receive during your painting session. This hack won't keep your paint damp forever, but long enough for a chit chat with Emily. So don't stop this tree from blooming. Keep it hydrated. Back to painting and waiting for another call, girl. As neatly as you could possibly pull off, right Jess? Well, Mrs. School President of the Year, shine bright like a diamond. Sort of? If you wanna be the star in your school, you gotta shine brighter. So grab a bowl full of water and add drops of clear nail polish just like that. A single drop should be enough to sparkle things up a bit. Dip the card straight into the bowl. Just be careful not to fold the paper too much. And pull it out. See this shiny pearl effect on it? Now that's a winner, all right. So let every single student know about this. Do they even read the text though? Well, this eye-catching effect will surely make them read it sooner or later. <laughs> what a bright person Jessica is. Where are my sunglasses? All right, new month, new page, new beginning. New cake. Starting with a sharp mind and a not so sharp pen. It takes time to gather up the motivation for such handwriting. There's no way a bent pen is stopping her now. Nothing at hand. What about Jacob's? His are full of this delicious, sweet... Hey, wait a second. Sweetheart, your cake will wait. For now, a simple fork will do the job. Grab a plastic spoon and fill it with black ink. Grab the fork and dip it into the ink. Did you write it down? You can still do it. Yep, you heard me. Just be sure to use the form of the fork to your advantage as well. Better get ready for the upcoming Inktober season. After trying this technique, you will surely want to take on any challenges like this. Wow, Jacob's not even mad about this. Despite that, you still need another hack on how to eat a cake without a fork. Never mind. This calligraphy session shirt sure draws his whole attention. Accidentally spilled some water on a white sheet of paper? Amazing! Just the perfect occasion for some water coloring. Colored drops, lines, and everything nice. Those were the ingredients chosen to create the perfect crop-out blobs. Lots of them, in fact. 
Each of them are as unique as a special snowflake. Use liquid glue and start sticking them back together. Make a new composition out of them. Crop out a circle while you're at it. This plate will assist you. Cut to the chase, fellow pandas. Put it into exposition and we're done. Kinda puts you into an Easter mood, doesn't it? Feel free to play around a variety of ways you can arrange the cutouts. Every artist's first step is to prepare his own color palette. This time, use a plastic cup and acrylic paint for this. With a bit of water, the consistency will be perfect for a whole puddle of artistry. Get the picture? Splash them onto a piece of thick white paper or a board. Use your own special color combo of your choice. Take a stick to get it ready for the splashing next step. Move the surface around for the paint to create this blurry and bright marble effect. Let it drip. Art is the priority now. It takes sacrifices after all. Let it dry and let your eyes feast on this marvelous piece. Madison has been left after class. Apparently, she didn't press the subscribe button on her phone. Always subscribe to Crafty Panda. Class is finished. I hope you learned your lesson. Say cheese. Just the occasion for the boys to play a bit of football. Hey pal, fetch. Just kidding, Adam's gotta tie his shoelaces. Uh-oh, I don't think he heard your last comment. Oh, um, what's up? Definitely not this decoration. Now you've done it, fellas. Let's say, Wait, I think an idea has sparkled up. Just grab a stencil of your choice and draw lines like these using the flame of a Bengal light stick. Don't put the flame too close though, and be careful with it. You are drawing with a soot that is forming up during the close encounter between the flame and the paper. Combine it with detailed taps of a paintbrush. The trees here need some green on them. Meanwhile, the grass will be easily done with a spongy material. And we're done! This drawing technique with fire is called fumage, and there's a billion ways how you can use it. Let your creativity be as free as a wild horse. You surely hoofed it off with style. Well then, the show must go on. But it doesn't mean that you can keep playing. You boys are grounded. And then he was like, oh my gosh. Oh, speak of the devil. Oh, hey there, Adam. Oh, what's with that phone case? It looks so ancient. I'm actually surprised it doesn't have a cable. This case sure has seen a lot. Yeah, girl, you better put that phone down in the trash. I know it isn't so often you see the backside of your own device, but still, yikes. Cover this hideousness in dark blue using a paintbrush. Use a sponge for a different texture and add those extra shades. Combine different coloring techniques. You will not regret this. Now tap a paintbrush soaked in white paint into another one to sprinkle some stars on. Get a paper stencil with a contour of a little girl and using a sponge, paint her. Just one last brush stroke and let it dry. Time to put this nice piece onto your phone and make it public. Hey there, Emma. You may want to take your words back because Jess made a slight remix on her case. A whole starry night that fits in your pocket. So what were you saying about this old phone case again? Where's your judgmental look now, Emma? A whole starry night painting right there, right? Art class is a place where you have to come up with something no matter how bad you are at this, Jacob. Well, this looks a bit sketchy. It isn't supposed to be competitive, but it just can't be helped when Emily is so good at it. Ugh, Jacob, just admit it. You're not as drawn to art as she is. I guess he's not in the right frame of mind today. Maybe this situation isn't as terrible as we may think. 
We did enough sketching, so go ahead and start using your paintbrush directly on the canvas. Choose your desired colors for the sky and use those ripoffs as a stencil for your mountains. Paint no mountain high enough. Switch the direction and the tone of your brush strokes in order to create two sides of your mountains. Throw some brighter accents in order to create a bit of a 3D effect. And now, remove the stencil. All right! You see, even true artists have some hacks up their sleeves. What a masterpiece! That's some top-selling artwork right there. Just be sure not to brag too much about your techniques, okay? Hey, Crafty Pandas! I hope you enjoyed these school hacks. Let us know which of them you're going to use next in the comments down below. If you want to learn more, feel free to check out our older videos. Hit the subscribe button and ring that bell to stay tuned for more.